Today we'll be talking about money. Money! People like money. This is Nigeria. So I'm talking about Naira. This is our currency. In US, we're talking about dollars. We're talking about pounds. Well, let me come back to my country, Nigeria. This is Owo in Yoruba. Kudi in Nausa. Ego in Igbo. Sometimes I forget that I am from Edo State. In Edo State, we call it Igbo. Iyo no, Iyo na king. This is money. You're welcome to my channel. Today we shall be talking about what is greater than money. Money answers all things. Yes, I know. Money answers all things. A few weeks ago in my video, I analyzed money. I did a topic on knowledge versus money. Which would you choose? I do seminars a lot, and in my seminars, that's one. Um, question I ask people money knowledge which would you go for and I love different arguments that people bring forth some people say money answered all things and I do know money answered all things but I want us to consider some of the things that are greater than money the other day I said knowledge I chose knowledge and I analyze why I chose knowledge I'm going to leave the video knowledge versus money which would you choose to know why I chose knowledge over money. But today, I'll be talking about something much greater than money. What is that thing that is much greater than money? You wanna know? That is time. Time is greater than money. One of the reasons why I say time is greater than money is if you lose money, you can recover the money. But if you lose time, you can never recover the time. If you lose one hour, you can't recover it. If you lose 100,000 naira, you can't recover it. I remember in some of my videos, I've given an analogy, a complete analogy of how I lost 70 million naira in an investment. I also gave an example of my 80 million naira case. But with some businesses, I was able to recover the money. Imagine if I lost 70 million hours. Can I recover that? Never. Time is greater than money. Because when you lose your money, if you do the right business, you can recover the money. For many years, I used to say, time is not my friend. Because that's what I thought. Until I read a book from Zig Ziglar, See You at the Top. And in that book, he asked, you spend your time or your hardly? And I found out that. If I use time well, it will become my friend. If I don't use it well, it becomes my enemy. So you need to choose if time is your friend or time is your enemy. Another story I love so much is the story of $86,400. Ah, the question is, in a day, if you have a bank that credits your account with $86,400 and you have 24 hours to spend the money, what would you do? Would you finish the money? If you have 86,400 and you have 24 hours to either invest the money, spend the money, or waste the money, what would you do with the money? Would you be able to invest $6,400 in a day or spend it? Are there days you want to go and do, buy things for yourself and just spend the money or you just want to waste it? Waste it because you didn't use it because if you don't use it, the bank will clear up that money. At the end of the day, it clears up the money, and the next morning, it put in $86,400 for you. So what would you do with $86,400 every day? I'm sure many of us would invest the money, and some of us would spend. Nobody will allow you to waste. No one would want to return the change back to the bank. So, the same way God has given us 86,400 seconds, to either invest, spend, or waste. How do you use every second of your day? Every second count. So what do you do with it? Do you while away your time? Are you investing your time? Are you spending your time? You need to make that decision of the right way to invest your time. You've got 86,400 seconds that God has given to each and every one of us, you need to decide, how do I use my time? 
I had the opportunity to train graduate interns for my country and one of the things I was teach, to teach them was time management and I love the analogy that we gave them. I found the analogy and I used it for them. During the exercise, a lot of them realized that, oh, I have not used and you know, different people gave me different stories. Now, what I told them to do was to get a paper and a pen and to rule it. You've got 24 hours in a day. Look at an average day. What do you do with it? How many hours do you spend commuting to work and back home, eating, bathing, washing your teeth, reading, watching television? So you need to break it into bits. All the things you do in a day, on the average, what are the things you do in a day? You need to get a pen and a paper and write down everything you do in a day. Then you need to write how many minutes or how many hours or seconds you spend doing a particular thing. Even eating. The other day I was telling someone that I love eating fish and I love eating every part of the fish. But I found that eating the egg takes my time. So I'm trying to either do away with it or eat it at night when I've finished doing everything I need to do and when I'm relaxing my brain. Because of course, if you work out, there are times you want to relax your brain. So I like to eat it when I want to relax my brain. So I know, okay, I'm using this to just while away my time. Because every second count for me. I watch, I personally, I watch television an hour a day because I use that to also relax my brain. So you need to look at what is important to you. How do you manage your time? When I did, when I did that exercise with this set of eaters, one of them told me that she used an average of three hours to browse, to just gist with her friends. But now, because of this exercise, she realized that she has been wasting her time. So, you need to do that exercise. Write down everything you do in a day. Everything. And how many hours you spend. Everything must add up to 24 hours. Then you'll be able to know if you need to adjust. Perhaps you've been spending six hours watching television. You need to you need to know. Oh, I need to adjust this so that I can reach that goal that I plan for myself. You need to realize that time is greater than money. So how you spend your time, how productive are you? So one question you need to ask yourself is: Is this the most productive use of my time? That has helped me a lot. If I'm watching television, I ask myself that question. Is this the most productive use of my time? If I'm just in with friends, if I'm doing anything, I ask myself, is this the most productive use of my time? Always ask yourself that question. If you do the 24 hours exercise and ask yourself that question every, every second, is this the most productive use of my time? you will find out you are able to manage your time, use your time for much more productive things. And you will realize that indeed, time is greater than money. Thank you for watching this video today. If you have not subscribed on this channel, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, click the notification button now so that next Thursday, when I post a new video, you will be the first to get the information. I said we're going to start a new channel, we're still working on the new channel, and I will tell you about it so that you get the gift. Because we are going to give our first 20 subscribers a gift, and I want you to get the gift, so get ready. I will definitely be telling you the name of the channel very soon. Remember, we can catch on my blog, loveoladele.net, on my Instagram, at loveoladeleofficial. I love you.